Greetings, my friends. Yesterday, I read to you part one of um, Samuel Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, in which um, a wedding guest was stopped by the Ancient Mariner and was compelled to listen to his tale, in which um, the Mariner set out to sea and their ship was blown south and trapped in the icy wastes. And an albatross showed up and seemed to guide them out of danger. And um, at the end of the reading, the mariner shot the albatross with his crossbow. Part two of Samuel Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. The sun now rose upon the right. Out of the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hello. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work em woe, for all averred I had killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they, the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow nor dim nor red like god's own head the glorious sun uprist then all averred i had killed the bird that brought the fog and mist twas right said they such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist the fair breeze blew the white foam flew the furrow followed free we were the first that ever burst into that silent sea down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down, Twas sad as sad could be, And we did speak only to break The silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, The bloody sun at noon, Right up above the mast did stand, No bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, We stuck, nor breath, nor motion, As idle as a painted ship, upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, O Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about, in reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water, like a witch's oils, burned green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter draught was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well a day, what evil looks had I from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung. And there ends part two. I will see you again tomorrow. Have a good rest of the day and stay safe.